Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have another modest fashion lookbook and today's theme is feminine casual. This is actually a lookbook theme that is requested a lot here on my channel and it's just an idea of dressing for everyday elegance. That sweet spot between dressing elegant but still casual. I know that this can be a challenge to dress modest but still dress for like everyday occasions where you don't feel like you're overdressed and that's why I really love doing these type of themed lookbooks. I actually created a how to style guide that you can use to help you plan some more modest casual outfits. It has outfit ideas, styling tips, and shopping ideas as well. I'll go ahead and link the details for grabbing the style guide for yourself in the description bar below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the lookbook. For the first outfit, I've started off with this drawstring skirt from Pretty Little Thing. I think that this style skirt is really great to have for a modest casual wardrobe. The key is to style it appropriately by doing the rule of thirds when it comes to your proportions. So my skirt is high waisted, so it takes up about two thirds of my outfit. And then I have my shirt, which is just the last third, and it just creates nice proportions so it's not too frumpy. With this shirt, it is oversized. I love oversized graphic tees. They're so fun to style and they're actually surprisingly a very nice modern, modest item to have in your closet. And with this particular shirt, I did the hack of tucking it underneath your bra and then pulling out the fabric for kind of a cropped look. I just wanted a look with this shirt where I didn't have to tuck it into the skirt and ruin the cinch at the waist. So I went ahead and did that hack instead. I finished off the outfit with simple jewelry and my sneakers. One thing that I love about this look is it doesn't feel like I'm overdressed at all. Both of the items in this look are very casual, but they're still on the feminine side because it's a skirt and then the flower detail of the graphic definitely has that feminine vibe. The next outfit is a little pop of color and I have this sweatshirt from Abercrombie & Fitch. Not only do I love the color that it adds to my wardrobe, but I also like the feminine take that it has on such a classic wardrobe staple, which is a sweatshirt. The poofy sleeves also are a nice little detail, and that's what I like to add when it comes to my personal style, adding feminine details every once in a while to different pieces, whether that's in the color or the actual style. I've paired the sweatshirt with a classic wardrobe staple for me, which is a pleated skirt. And this pleated skirt can easily be dressed up or down. In this case, I decided to dress it down because I wore it with a casual sweatshirt and then I've added some sneakers. I love these sneakers, not just for the color because they go so well with the sweatshirt, but also because the style of them themselves, uh, regardless of the color, just caters more to work with skirts and dresses. And of course, the color also adds a nice feminine detail. Your accessories can really make a difference and the key is to find shoes and tennis shoes that maybe are more on the fashion side or just have more of a feminine look to them and that will work really well with dresses and skirts. Outfit number three, I started off with a denim skirt and white t-shirt. This is a great modest alternative to the classic skinny jeans and white t-shirt but it still can be styled the same way and works as a really good foundation outfit. I've decided to layer over this chunky cardigan. I love the color of this. I also love how it just adds some dimension and texture to the outfit. This entire outfit is actually taken from my fall capsule wardrobe, which you will be seeing pretty soon. But I think that it caters well, even though there's like a lot of different textures going on with the cotton, denim, and the knit. It works well together because it's all neutral colors. I finished it off again with very minimalist jewelry and then my classic pointy flats. I was thinking about sneakers for this outfit but given the stiffness of the denim skirt I wanted something a little more delicate at the bottom so that's why I decided to go with these ballet flats. The last outfit is taken from my go-to modest outfits combination video and it's a fitted t-shirt dress in a third layer. Now of course this dress is quite fitted but that is the purpose of the third layer. I actually like the contrast of the two. I think they complement each other very well. I talk about that a lot. I like contrast in style. If I'm wearing something fitted, I always want to wear it with something that is maybe oversized or just looser because they just are like made to work together. In this outfit, I've decided to go for a very neutral color palette again. I went with these shoes that are in the same kind of color palette of the Aritzia jacket. And I absolutely love this jacket from Aritzia. It's one of my favorite pieces for the fall time and it's just so fun to throw over my very basic outfits. In fact, I pretty much throw it over a lot of my more fitted skirts 
and fitted dresses and I love the way it looks for the fall time. Because this outfit is very neutral and simple, I did decide to do a little layered necklaces and I have my Margaret Coy necklace and then this pearl necklace from Rachel and Jewelry to kind of add some spice to the outfit. Let me know which of the four outfits was your favorite in the comments below and if you have any other theme ideas for modest lookbooks that you would like to see from me. Feel free to download the Casual Modest Outfit Style Guide. I'll have it linked in the description bar below. And don't forget to subscribe so that that way you all can see some more modest fashion content from me. And I will see you all next week. Bye. Right on time, we fell right into each other. Couldn't